Uh, let's see, time now is 8.51. What makes a place a great place to live? Perhaps we can learn something from Orkney off the northeastern coast of Scotland, which has topped a UK-wide quality of life survey. Think about this, breathtaking landscapes, community spirit, and a relatively affordable cost of living. All of it helped it secure the number one spot after it was runner-up for two years. So we're joined now from Orkney by local reporter Sarah Sutherland and here in the studio by estate agent uh, Robert Reed. Uh, so Sarah, let's say good morning to you first of all and uh, lovely to see you there. I'm not sure, we, we can't actually see much of Orkney from the, uh, the picture you're giving <laughs> us right now but tell us what it is that's so magical about the place that is home for you. Uh, well, it's just uh, an outstanding place of natural beauty. I mean we've got so much history here and it's easy to take for granted when you live here, but it is just a wonderful place to live. A lot of people say, of course, it, we know and we've seen many of the pictures uh, of how beautiful uh, it is there, just in terms of the geography and the beaches and everything it has there. But a lot of people say, you know, community ultimately makes a, a, a place a lovely place to be. Give us a sense of what community is like there. Well, I think like anywhere else, in the country we have our problems like we have social problems we have health problems but i think that our sense of community helps us band together and combat any problems we do have okay it's, it's, it's a very balanced view of what orkney's like tell us um robert you know you're from north of england is that yeah, correct indeed I am, yes. um and it's i think richmondshire in yorkshire has it become runner-up yes indeed. i think rutland in these midlands is third mm. um Orkney looks beautiful, yeah. but the practicalities, I mean, we were sitting on the sofa earlier saying we've never been, mm. we'd love to go, but the practicalities mm. when it comes to working, yes. how do you think that, that works out? Well, I do think that when people are selecting where they want to live, I think they are influenced strongly by factors like work, you know, and where your children may need to go to school and those family, where your family are, and all of those uh, kind of issues I think are quite prevalent when people are choosing where to live. That's not to so say that Orkney isn't fantastic, and I'm sure many people, if they could live there, would be delighted to do well, so. Well, number one but in this. Yeah, you know, but of course, practically speaking, it wouldn't be possible for everybody. But, you know, I think anybody, everywhere on the list, of course, is, you know, it got its own individual merits. But it's rather, as Charlie said earlier on in the question, what's magical about the place that is home for you? And that's the point, isn't it? You know, I think it will be probably viewers up and down the country who will have reasons why they love where they are. So let me ask you this then, is a list like this of use? Um, I think it's a good talking point, I think it's quite interesting, but I rather suspect, you know, there were, I was looking at it last night and I looked at the places, I thought, oh, yeah, I would agree, they're lovely places, but then you think of all the other places that aren't on the list that I happen to know that friends and family living here, Chester, Shrewsbury, um, Sherburn, uh, Inverness, uh, you know, all over the country, I thought, wow, they're great places and I know people who have a wonderful quality of life there which hasn't made it, so I think it's a great talking point and obviously they've put a lot of effort into looking at these various different factors, like schools, like, you know, quality of life, like crime rates. So I can certainly understand the logic of what they, they do. But you know what, I think if we sat here for probably 10 minutes, we could probably come up with an alternative list of 50 yeah. that would be, you know, in many ways equally legitimate. And I suppose the truth is that you can be in a beautiful place and life can still not be great because there may not be a sense of community. You might not have neighbours, you know, yeah. might, might, have, might have not have that element which on a day-to-day -day basis, probably for your, uh, for want of a better word, your soul, you yes. know, for, for real happiness, sometimes those things can have more importance. Well, I would agree. I mean, your personal sense of happiness kind of comes into the whole thing, doesn't it? And I always say that, you know, when you kind of go home at night, whether it's a one-bedroom apartment that you rent or a ten-bedroom manor house out in the country, you know, when you put your key in the door, is it home to you? And are you happy with that? And actually, it's not always the case that the most beautiful place or the most beautiful house necessarily makes you happy. It can do. It can be a contributory factor but I think it's only one part of the matrix and I think um, what they're trying to do in this survey is trying to try and look at these various factors but somehow it's hard to factor in emotion isn't it it's, mm. it's hard to it's hard to factor that element into it. Sarah let's talk to you about well firstly you love obviously Orkney you're in front of uh, a historic cathedral am I correct in saying that at the moment that's correct what do you what do you think this survey will do for Orkney because actually for the last two years it's been second anyway hasn't it but now it's number one what do you think it will do? Um, well, I mean, we've we've got a thriving tourist community, well, tourist trade already. I mean, all we can hope is that maybe it brings more folk to Orkney who want uh, to visit here and and maybe to stay and work here. I mean, we're always looking to for more folk to to come and come and live here and 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 help our economy thrive. So, I mean, that's all we can 
really hope for. I mean, it's a it's a true honour just to just to be named the, the Sarah, happiest place to live. Sarah, sorry for interrupting. There's also the downside to that, isn't there? Because one of the things quoted that makes Orkney one of the best or the best place to live in, according to this list, is that housing is affordable, quality of life, you can breathe, basically, there's space. You have a lot of people flocking to Orkney, that's going to change. Well, I think we're no stranger to having folk visit. And I think, I mean, obviously, we wouldn't want Orkney to become too built up or to change too much. But I mean, if people are willing to come and, and help us become even better or, you know, just to integrate into our wonderful community, then, I mean, you can't really knock that. OK, Sarah, can I take a risk and ask you to offer us a shot that's just a little wider of something? Can you just turn your... Can you turn the lens around so we can just see where you are? Just show us something? Maybe that's it's not going to work. There we oh, go. Yeah. Just get a little sense of, of how beautiful... It's a big building there, isn't it? A big cathedral. Thank you, Sarah. Lovely to speak to you. Thank you very much. And, uh, Robert, you got going to plan on taking a trip up there to check I, I haven't been there. I think it looks very delightful. Put it I, on the list. I do like travelling in Britain, so maybe I should go on my uh, to-do list. Good. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much. Thank you.